too real. Oh lord. Sorry. I hope this uh, me taking off. Oh, my I mask mean, there's a new thing of COVID anyway, right? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. I think there is. Supposedly. Honestly, though, I wouldn't mind a lot down again because like that was so yeah. good for graffiti. Like honestly. What? Yo. Yeah. Walking through I mean, Times it was, Square bombing it was kind of was sick. Graffiti wise, like I. I met the most graffiti writers randomly bombing at like two in the morning during the pandemic more than any not other gonna lie, that's, Those are the guys that literally kept me paying my rent and oh, feeding my face. I am glad, I'm glad. Yeah. I remember seeing a gate or a nice wall somewhere around here. So let me just, if you guys don't mind walking a couple blocks, I'm sorry to like drag you out here. I'm thinking about even rocking on that little wall right there, you know, right next to the van store. Why not? Of course, uh, them boys are coming through as we uh, get ready to rock out, you know what I mean? Notice how they break the law. They ran that red light, no lights or nothing. If it were me, I would probably get a ticket, right? You know what? Fuck it. So, I'm actually dealing with one of those guys right now. That's fine. From that Boone Avenue situation. I don't know if I told you about that. No, but definitely not. Yeah, so, um, you know, we rocked at Boone Avenue. Um, yeah, two different locations. Two different so it was locations. like twice as big this year. Twice as big. A hundred artists from around That's the fire. world. Yeah, like, I looked at the list. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Super yep, dope, yep, yep. super dope. And a lot of people were just like blazing it. Like, a lot of dope graffiti pieces, you know. Uh, a lot of good commodity, you know. Community building. There was yeah. a dope cleanup. Everything was Gucci. Painted with the homies, you know. Uh, yo, three days later, my boy sends me a photo and he's like, yo, check this out. And these two Bronx toy writers went over, just ragged our shit. Because like all of it? Not all of it, specifically like my man, my crewmates piece. And then this other dude, he like kind of like clipped the beginning of mine. Yeah. But 
you basically I mean, that's my the shit, same thing. You know, yeah. so it's like such a headache, you know, dealing with that because, you know. It's like meant to like beautify the community and then you're like, community. it's like, bro, come on. It's and like, it's also like, you know. It's unnecessary. A lot of these bombers are like, so this guy thinks that we rolled over to the wall and like just went over his shit. Right. That wall got buffed even before we knew where we were right. like painting, you know what I mean? It's not like we. It's, it belongs to someone else, bro. And, and then, yo, day. and as someone who writes, you know, and I'm down, like, Fuck private property. Like I think, you know, we're on stolen land. Everything is fair game. Fair we can paint on Thanks. anything. Like I don't care <laughs> at all. Like doesn't matter if it's a bank, a church. Like I think yeah, I, I feel like House of God is like uh, yeah, but then also weapons. just a, a touch, a scotch. Two things for that. One, there was, there was you know the Inquisition. There was a whole lot of sharing of smallpox blankets with natives by like evil priests and shit so yeah. that's one and two Fair yo enough. i went down to mexico city um like two years ago during the pandemic and it was like kind of right after the women's day march and i don't know if you've seen the shit that goes down there during Dude, like, i haven't protests, been down there at all but like yo it was like swarms of like women activists and just like protesters you know allies just like walking through mexico city and like fucking everything up and like there's make videos, a statement somehow sometimes yo, women End painting on churches like old churches Fair, right? i'm like yeah. yo fuck it at this point they know the history of them game, right and they're like eh. and it's like What, what do you like about Scrapyard, man? Like, what keeps you, like, going to Scrapyard? Motivated? Yeah, yeah, motivated. Working for myself. Working for yourself? Yeah. yeah. I knew when I was a kid that I was going to... I didn't know what I was going to take over or run or own, but I knew there was going to be something. Mm -hmm. I felt it in my bones. I've been treating it like it's my child. Because no, I, I don't have kids. Have so I have no desire <laughs> to have kids. No desire. Would you, <laughs> After this... Would you I, adopt or something? Or no. Not even? I have not No. Do you want young run, people in your life? I feel like owning this shop and having like the platform to help kids is good enough for me. So my boy who who's into the graffiti shit, he he we paste a lot too. Super dope. Actually mm -hmm. you should introduce you to him. Yeah, you guys definitely. probably will hit it off. We'll probably um, figure something out together. He goes by Mayox, super dope. Okay. Um, he connected me with this um, teacher, this art teacher who lives in our neighborhood. And um, she, you know, I've been doing like little projects with her for years at uh, the school she teaches okay, at, nice. you know, graffiti related stuff. And um, she messaged me one day and she was like, yeah, there's this kid. He's um, been having a little trouble, you know, in school. Mm -hmm. Things are going on at home a little bit, you know, but he's like super into graffiti. Um, he's super like, just like passionate about it and really like wants to learn more. Would you mind like, just working on him with this yeah, final project. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. And so um, I've been mentoring him. I worked with him uh, doing Sick. this like end of year art project, which was uh, painting the rooftop of his school. I love that. Um, and yeah, just seeing him just like grow throughout the process. That's awesome. Yeah, you he know? just needed somebody who, like a big brother, if yeah, you will, exactly, you know? Exactly, Like Dude. he didn't have that at home and it's kind of nice. It's kind of 
it's crazy. I'm all about giving back like that. Like yeah. it's just it, the kids are the future end of day. One thousand percent. If there is one, if at all. <laughs> Yo, tell me about it. Especially which we like, know there is. No, but yeah. I mean, it's just we it's don't getting a little crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's true though, there. dude. Because like you know, especially in like the neighborhood that you know his kids you know were from, like he's been dealing with like having he's been getting bullied by gang members oh, in the neighborhood Jesus. who are also fucking kids. Which is the, cr- yeah, I mean, it's always been like that, like the seven year old for stick up kids, right? But, you know, so it's like, it's it's just w- amazing to me that like something like yeah. graffiti can steer someone away from like the negative influences of a neighborhood, away from like the negative experiences that mm-hmm. they are having on a daily basis and just like, you know, yeah. grow an aptitude or grow like self confidence or whatever it is. Yeah. I wrote modus. Uh, modus is my tag. Um, if you're familiar with the Latin phrase, modus operandi, that's where I got my tag from. I like to paint a lot of clean gates, you know? If I see like a roll down gate that doesn't have like the see-through shit, um, you know, that's always fair game for me. Or if it's like a nice, a nice wall, like I love the textures of the city. You know what I mean? It's like, there's something about just like really cool textures that just like really, I don't know, it just turns me on, I guess. <laughs> and I just want to hit it, you know what I mean? There's like this psychic geography of the city. Like anytime you're walking, you like passively and actively like take notes of the things you see, the spots you see, the places you can hit. And you build this like psychological map in your head of like, everywhere you've been, places you've painted. I don't know, there's something that's just so invigorating for me. I feel alive and I feel like I'm really like connected with the environment, like my senses get heightened, like I hear, like I can tell a cop car from like three, two blocks down just based on the temperature of the light kind of thing, you know what I mean? It's just like your senses get heightened and you're so like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, it's crazy. Okay, let me let me roll back real quick. It's been a great, it's been a roller coaster year for me. Yeah, mm, I all a lot of good, a lot of bad, yeah. but you know, it's a roller coaster year. So like, is it more because of the jobs yeah, situation? I mean, I've never been laid off in my life. You know what I mean? Like, Fair enough. I've never okay. been laid off in my yeah, life. Yeah, you're That's, like I'm the one to like, eh. You know, and, yeah, and to your yeah. point about like being a, you know, a, your own boss. Like, now more than ever. It's actually more scarier, to be honest. It is? When you think about it, because you're like, so if the sales don't come in, that's just a wrap. That's you, I feel like that's you getting laid off. Yeah, yeah. You no, know, no. like, it's like slowly, I I'm feel all, you. I have a bad day, I'm all. What oh, the fuck? What am, what's going on? I go through, all, like last year, I go through all, like, all of the finances. I'm like, ah, yeah. what do I need to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, all right, let me figure it out. Yeah. No, I mean, I feel that. Kind of, it's a different kind of feeling. It's the same feeling you're feeling, but I have it on a different, like, It keeps wavelength. the fire under your ass, it's though. It literally and keeps, it keeps the fire going. And it keeps you motivated in yeah. some ways. And, but it sucks that we have to, like, live like this in some ways, you know? And it's like, and it just happened all like that. So quickly. And, you know, I just realized that, like, I'm just another cog in the machine. You know what I mean? And it's like... Didn't you say point. they laid off a bunch of other people, too? Yeah, or is yeah. It? Okay. yeah, including so my, like, my boss, who, like... Had hunted me. Downsizing is a them. thing. That's how I got laid off when I was yeah. working corporate. Yeah, but it's Everyone hard to gotta not, go. It's hard to not take it personal. Like I took that shit personally. You know I what know. I mean? It's like, yo, going forward, I'm just gonna be as ruthless as they are, man. Fuck it. You know, if a new That's opportunity it comes, I'm bouncing. Yeah. I don't care anymore because like they will drop you like a fly. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah, thirties have been a trip, man. I'm not gonna lie. It's weird I because had a like good time in my thirties. I'm having a relatively good That's time. When I first moved to New York. Oh shit. Like right when I was twenty nine and I moved to New York as I turned thirty. Oh wow. So I've been here Damn. since yeah. That's wild. I didn't know that. I bought a one way ticket and I said, he's Damn. I'm out. With like did you have and a plan? I just no. Like you were just like I, I was like I'm gonna figure York. this out. Why why'd you wanna come to New York? I was bored. You were bored. Yeah, I was bored in Arizona. Wow. I, think, I felt like I, 
in my head, I felt like I did all that I could potentially do there. Mm-hmm. I like worked at certain restaurants, I worked at certain bars, I did what was there at that moment For in sure. time. And I, I was like, all right, I think I did it. For sure. If I don't, I can't be stuck doing this at 30. Yeah. So yeah. I gotta go. Big so fish my, I had put all my coins in my bag, AKA bank account. Yeah. And then I said, find my mom made ticket, packed, I think three little bags. My mom thought I was completely out of my mind. Were there other cities as contenders or New York? You know, New York was the spot. Yeah. Wow, that's wild. That's wild. Yeah, I came here, I think I was 13, 14. Mm-hmm. We literally drove cross country. Oh, shit. You did a yeah. road trip to New York. We did a road trip. My, my aunt lived in Jersey at the time. I can't remember what city, but she lived in Jersey. We drove all the way from Tucson, Arizona, all the way to Jersey. Stopped at like random things on the way, like little tins here and there. And then stayed out here for a little bit and then drove back. Wow. That's dope. Yeah. I've never done like a cross country road trip like that. It was fun. That sounds so amazing. we had two vans and we were like oh, talking shit. CBs to each other oh, and like playing shit. like road games. It Wait, we got like, walkie talkies? <laughs> yeah. Yo, that is it so was, dope. Like, yeah, and so then we like talk to truckers too on the CBs too. That is yeah, crazy. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. That's dope. That's super dope. Yeah. Wow. I mean, this was also what? Early, early 90s? Oh shit. Okay, yeah. where it worked. Yo, the 90s. Yeah, fuck, different. what? Yeah, it was good shit. It was good shit, for sure. For sure. I mean, I'm sure. Did you hear what happened last night? Nationwide, everything went down. That's why I moved here. But this is like the stem of alcohol. <laughs> um, no. I don't know what I want anymore. I just want to make people happy. So when are you gonna go and fix your piece? Tomorrow, man. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, okay. dude. I, you can't let that let rock. That early, no. You can't let that rock. Cause it's once you let disrespect. that rock. The whole wall gets violated. Yeah. Oh, then once you let it rock, it's, yeah, it's over. Let it rock, it's over. You know. Just, at the, like, I mean, and also at the end of the day, like people have gone over me so many times. Like it's part of the. I don't really. Game it's part of the game, you know. It but it's just game. like fucking annoying. Like, I haven't painted any legal piece this year. That was my first legal piece. I've been going to the subway systems, doing my thing down there yeah, yeah. in the street. This was my first legal piece for a reason and then it gets violated. And then he comes with an argument about like, yo, I risk my freedom to come out here. It's like, bro, do you like, know what, what do you I think do I've too? Been doing? Like, what do you think I've been doing? The thing I'm a little keeping mind of is like, motherfucker showing up to the wall and trying to pop off, you know? Cause yeah. like, that spot is like really deep in the hood. And it's, I'm good, I'm Gucci in every hood, don't get me wrong, but like, yeah. People really take that, especially like these kinds of writers, will like take that shit seriously. You know what I mean? That's I, part of getting up. It's part of getting up, exactly. That's so I'm gonna do my thing and just keep up. it moving. You know what I mean? Like, if yeah, whatever keep happens, happens, but also yeah. don't fix your shit. Whatever happens, happens. We'll see. Yeah. I'll send you the flicks. I started doing flicks. some tags here and there lately. Oh! Whoa! 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 Time out! Time out! Time out! Hold up! Just. Yo, a little bit. Wait, what are you fucking writing? I'm not saying. Okay, we're we, we on camera. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> okay. 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 Nothing. Okay. Wow. Whoa. I thought I would never I see mean, the day. I mean, come on. I'm so immersed in it. Why would I not? I'm a butterfly. Taking my time. I'm a skeleton. 